We firmly believe that the wealth generated from a country's natural resources should benefit all its citizens and that requires strong standards on accountability and transparency. And that's exactly the core mandate of the Extractive Industries Transparency Initiative. And we're here coming together around 150 people from different stakeholders, from governments, from the private sector, from civil society organizations, to support the further development and strengthening of these standards. Dear EITI board members and observers, dear EITI national coordinators, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Geneva. So the EITI has been in existence now for over 20 years. Over that time, it's built up a, an incredibly robust system. Um, its governance is strong. Now, as we look to the current time where there's so much focus on critical minerals, we're going to rely very heavily on that strong structure uh, where governments, civil society, companies can come together to engage in, in a topic that is critical to our time around minerals and how it is that they power our move away from fossil fuels uh, towards the electron. I think with the ITI, you know, the standards are great on paper. Uh, the main challenge is around implementation. Uh, it's a complicated topic. There are questions of resources, there are questions of context, there are questions of civic space. Um, they, what needs to happen is more effort, more support for implementing country, for different stakeholders uh, to be able to implement the standard and provide what EITI is for. Information, for public uh, discussion, transparency in the sector, uh, more integrity and so on. We serve countries to fight corruption manage the resources correctly and help government mobilize resources from the sector and channel these resources to benefit citizens. Companies engage in the EITI because it helps them build trust and create an equal playing field where the business environment is open and fair for everyone. Main challenge for the implementation as we see it is that EITI cannot exist in a vacuum. It has to be a part of a broader reform process. The EITI, apart from being a standard that provides data which is used by organizations like the IMF, is a platform for dialogue. Uh, diverse stakeholders like companies, civil society and governments meet and discuss controversial topics. And instead of ending in a deadlock situation, they manage to forge consensus and produce tangible results in implementation. There is a lot of attention going to responsible supply chains for critical raw materials. Producing countries, uh, being developing or de developed countries, make sure that uh, they can uh, develop the sector um, in order to avoid the resource costs and uh, with paying attention to uh, the sustainable development goals in order to make sure that the uh, sector of the uh, extractives which is the second uh, largest sector after the agricultural sector, not only makes uh, its contribution to employment, but also to uh, the development of the economy and to bring benefits uh, to not only to the economy, but also to the people and uh, the local communities.